We're on the third day of mining in Java and there's been some very topical, specific key issues that have come away. Why don't you tell me what stands out for you specifically? So there's several for me. Um, I think one is, um, you know, the whole ESG narrative. Uh, I think in the past it's something that's been talked about, but it actually is getting a lot more teeth today. Um, or companies increasingly recognize that access to capital is increasingly being tied to, you know, visibly demonstrable uh, commitment to ESG and what is the companies or what is the mining industry doing uh, with respect to uh, uh, to that. Um, obviously, behind that is the whole uh, climate change uh, agenda, the need to lower the world's uh, carbon uh, footprint, um, and uh, you know, which raises questions on mining companies on uh, how they operate and how they mine and how they manage their carbon footprint. I think for me. You know, the inside is that it actually goes beyond that. Um, we think it's not just about managing your operations um, in an ESG responsible manner, but it's also about the metals when they are mined and they're released, how do they continue to contribute towards, um, you know, a, a, a greener uh, future, which obviously uh, speaks very centrally into the whole battery metals. Mm -hmm. Uh, space uh, and the energy uh, minerals, uh, which we think is a fantastic opportunity for, for Africa in general. So do you want to expand on that a little bit more, Fortune, what it means specifically for South Africa and Africa? If you look at, if you look at battery, uh, um, the shift towards cleaner energy, uh, energy storage is rec increasingly recognized that it's going to play a big, big role. Um, I mean, by some measure, I think Bloomberg that uh, put out a report recently saying that deployed stationary energy storage um, systems will grow from 17 gigawatt hours last year uh, to more than 2,800 gigawatt hours within the next 20 years, right? And that will attract about $660 billion in capital investment. The, the big question though is, you know, how do African countries who have the most uh, reserves, the most in terms of quality reserves, in most of the battery metals, how, do, how does Africa ensure that it captures a significant chunk of that, of that investment um, and the value chain in the battery metals? I think that's a very important topical point. For me, it goes beyond responsible sourcing issues, that value chain, and we believe that you know, we can capture a significant part of it. And as a company, of course, Bushel Minerals, we are, uh, I think, demonstrating that that is doable. So. You've touched on now the fact that Bushveld Minerals is playing in the space. Delve a little bit deeper into that for me. How, how are you going to contribute and play a bigger role in this energy storage, clean energy space? So I mean, the commodities uh, we're talking about here, you know, it's uh, vanadium, uh, nickel, uh, manganese, uh, cobalt, copper, right? Um, our focus one is vanadium and um, we have for a long time articulated a vertically integrated strategy that is focused on not only mining and processing vanadium to supply to the steel industry, uh, but also we have uh, deployed a business uh, strategy that looks at the energy storage sector and how we can play a very active role. So we have a dedicated company called Bushfold Energy, which has been driving this strategy. Uh, we are building an electrolyte manufacturing facility uh, in East London. Uh, we are very active in securing large scale mandates for energy storage. And uh, we've started uh, also investing into uh, battery uh, manufacturing technology as well. Um, giving what gives us the platform to do that obviously is our mining and processing platform. Um, and we, over the last three years, the focus there has been establishing low cost, uh, scalable production base. Uh, you look, you'll know that we acquired two plants from Metco and now we were, we acquired last year VanCam. Between the two, we have the capacity to more than treble our production over the next four years. And we think that, that that positions us really nicely to uh, play a very significant role in this space. Excellent fortune. Thank you for joining me. I think the energy space is an exciting one, so I look forward to seeing what Bushville does in the future. Thank you very much. For more great insight videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.